Hey guys, this is Junior Trader, and in this video, let's take a look at Carvana stock and let's figure it out if the short squeeze died. Has it gone flat? Will it even happen? All of those things will get it answered in this video. With that, please hit the like and subscribe if you find value in my videos. And also, please remember, none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes. With that, let's begin. So yesterday, we noticed that Carvana had an upbeat on their outlook forecast that they're going to have an upside to their profit margins, at least on the vehicles sold, per vehicle sold, right? And that uh, actually, so Carvana background is that it was a great candidate, or it is still a great candidate for a short squeeze because its short percent is at 50%. That's very massive. And yesterday we did see some, you know, squeeze to the upside. However, today we can see we did not get a follow through. You can see today's candle is like a huge sell off. Now, is the short squeeze dead? Well, that's something eventually over coming days we'll get to know. So what are we looking at for the price action, key support and resistance levels and all other, you know, the, the, areas that we need to focus on as if to just leave this stock behind in the dust and never look back at it or is there a potential in waiting and keeping an eye on it so in my opinion it's may still happen in coming days so Let's take a look at first one of the articles that came out. So Reuters says that shares of Carvana tumbled as analysts as suspect that the company would only have this, the outlook that they provided of second quarter profit is only one time upside. So that being said, like, okay, the news came out after the stock price fell, right? That's how it happens. News always follows the stock price. Um, what I do want to point out here, a few things is sure, even if they say it's a one time, you know, news or sorry, the one time positive outlook on the company that doesn't really brings in any buy in. Right. But f focus on these technicals, guys. So short squeeze, we talked about short. We talked about it's at 50 percent. That's super high. We do have Carvana above 20, 50 and 200 days moving average. Even if stock is a dead horse, technicals are still supporting that narrative. We still have huge float. The only thing it takes to get the stock price up is a lot of buying momentum coming in. We do have to be watchful of the key levels. Now, the one thing is still positive that two things are positive. Short float is very high. Sorry, the in, yes. And then the stock price is above moving averages on the daily level, which is of high significance. Then this level that we have, $19.85, this is something we need to be watchful of to see this as an ongoing support. Right now, it feels like it has dipped under that. So what I'm looking for in coming days with Carvana, if stock price tests this 20 days moving average and it gets back above $19.80 or so, sorry, 90, yeah, $19.80, Stock is still playable on the upside. Things don't just happen the next day. You have to follow through such type of volatility throughout a few days to see what's happening in the stock price. But if it fails, guys, doesn't uh, go up over $19.65 and it fails the 20 days moving average on the downside, then yes, this is the stock to just leave it in the dust until we receive any further confirmation on it. So watch for this stock for a few days to look for this confirmation on the daily level. Now let's take a look at an hourly chart. So on hourly interval, all right, it's finding some support at 50 hours moving average. So let's see if it holds. However, at least for foreseeable near term, it may come underneath 20 days moving average test sets and then starts heading back down but then if it finally finds support again at 99.86 cents start going up there is still potential on the upside with the stock um and also again guys this 200 hours moving average if the price stays above this as well again like 
the, for coming days, watch the volumes, watch the levels we talked about, the uh, moving averages, and how the stock price especially behaves around $19.86. Gain above this level is definitely to keep an eye on with strong momentum, volume, and some positive news, guys, will definitely help um, in the market for Carvana. So this is with Carvana, guys. It's not concluded as if it's a dead horse now or is it gonna keep going up we have to watch this stock around the as i said key levels we covered moving averages we covered and the volume momentum but things are still in the favor of maybe still but how i should say that it's still 50 percent higher probability that we can possibly see an upside but as i always said there is nothing guaranteed in stock market especially with such type of stocks but there's still a probability to keep it on our watch list all right guys this is all what i want to cover in this video with you all if you found this video helpful and valuable please hit the like and subscribe with that i'll see you in my next video take care